Welcome. It is another day of working in the shop. Today we're going to be working on the heavy wrecker. It's right on the other side of that door getting his tires aired up. We got Skeeter here today. We got Trevor here today. Yeah. Lizzie is still on vacation. We miss her. We're going to do this anyway. So we're going to push the wrecker in here and then I'm going to tell you everything that we've got to do today on the wrecker plus some other things. So we got a call from the powder coaters today. Our wheels are done. We're gonna mount the tires up on them. We're gonna get them on here and show you what this is really gonna look like with the 54 inch tires. So I am super excited to go get these wheels, but I am not even close to as excited as Skeeter is. Come on, dude, I've been waiting an entire year for this moment right now. He's not lying. I'm gonna show you my text history with Skeeter over the last two years. Wait, I'll give you a preview. Look at these giant long texts he sends. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to show mine. Mine look just like Trevor's do. So it's kind of like this, you're like, Hey Skeeter, I'm thinking about running military axles on my wrecker. And then he downloads the entire internet and puts it in a text. Yep. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head over to FX and we're gonna pick up those wheels and get them tires put together. To FX! Oh yep, there they are. Okay. Look at that. We'll just back up and load these up. All right, we've got the wheels in our possession. We're gonna head back to the shop and we're gonna throw some tires on the wheels. We've got some fellow Mountain Dew fiends here at FX Industries and we're gonna give them their daily fix. I got a terrible, terrible deep dark secret. I don't even really like Mountain Dew. I just drink it because I can steal it out of Paul's fridge. Scandalous. My favorite drink is just stolen. So whatever you got in the fridge, that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now that we've got the wheels back to the shop, it's time to go to work. I'm gonna put my work hat on. I'm not implying anything, Robbie. It's the weather, Ed. Oh, it's no wind today, which is unusual. Clear sky and hot. It's gonna get up to 105 today. By the end of the week, it'll be 110. We're gonna get everything gathered up so we can get these wheels assembled. These are directional tires, so we need to remember to mount two of them one way and two of them the other. What do you think, Ed? Big. Luckily, we don't have to pry them on. These uh, wheels are two-piece wheels, so they have to have an O-ring in the middle to seal it so the air don't get out. Just like that. I pity the fool! So while Skeeter and Trevor are gathering up all the stuff we need to put the wheels together, I'm gonna to be putting this up on blocks and getting these wheels off. And we've gotta tumble these lug nuts because they're the wrong color. Plus we've gotta paint these hubs because they're bugging me. So we have a new development. I just got off the phone with Scott and there's a canyon up here called Three Falls. And over the years, like over the last 50 years, there's been three cars pushed off into there, like launched off of the cliff. And the owner wants those cars out of there. He wants us to go look at it, see if it's something that we're interested in doing. This is more of like a heavy D style recovery, but we're gonna go look at it. And if we need some help, at least we know who to call. We're gonna be meeting them there in a minute to just look at the job. So that means we're gonna have to pull off this for a second, but we'll be right back on it. All right, this particular canyon is called Three Falls. There's an elementary school named after it. It's called Three Falls on account of the Three Falls. Oh, I thought they named it after you. <laughs> <laughs> This is, they totally named it after you. Your first fall, your second fall. <laughs> Are the locations Memorialized. Fall! There it was, 0.33 miles. The first fall, eh? 
What I'm doing right now is trying to figure out which way we're gonna come in here. I think from the top, like we theorized that earlier when we heard about this, I've never seen the cars, but they don't allow motor vehicles in the park. The cars are actually on private property. The property owner wants them removed. So really we're just walking up there to put a dot on them on the map. So you can't really see the fall, but when I was little, there was always water, st nice stagnant water at the bottom to fall into and get amoebic dysentery. There is a car tire right there, a whole wheel. Let me tell you a quick little story. We did a job a little while ago and there was a tire on the ground. I didn't see it because it's kind of natural to our habitat. The ranchers put those tires there and put the salt licks or the mineral blocks in them. So that was placed there by a rancher under the authority of the United States government. So just cut Skeeter a little slack for not picking up that rancher's tire and throwing it in the back of the truck. Hey look, Skeeter. Oh, you better pack that one out, Skeeter. <laughs> Dang it, that one's like 300 pounds. So they pushed the cars off and they've all landed up here. There's three of them up there and there's some parts down here. We're gonna go up there and see. If I can do it, you can. Look at that, a lot of lady. Been here for a little while. Is that a Ford Ranger? I know that truck, I ain't no stranger. All right. So we got a Ford Ranger. How you feeling, Tucker? Never felt so alive. Oh, here's another one. All right, so we're up here. There's three cars and some debris. They would have to go out that way. And I'm really thinking this is outside our scope. This is kind of different than what we do. I just think about trying to drag these up those cliffs. If, even if you had a cable that was strong enough, like shredded cheese, like dragging cheese up a cheese shredder. So like I said, this is outside of our scope. So I'm gonna give Heavy D a call and see if he would be interested in coming down and doing this. So the only thing really left to do is take a few pictures and then hike out of here. Man, that means get off of my lawn. <laughs> so I've got something for you guys. 50,000 likes on this video. We're camping out here. The four of us, right here. Overnight. Overnight. No tricks. No tricks. No going to the Hilton in the middle of the night. All night. 55,000 likes and Trevor sleeps right there. <laughs> 50,000 likes, you guys shouldn't have any trouble getting that done. So now we just gotta pick up the cotter pins and then we're gonna be back at the yard. Hey Matt, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing good man, what's up? Well, I've got a job down here a guy called me on. I went and scoped it out and it is way out of my scope. Waiting my whole life for this phone call, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you have. You know the hurricane cliffs, right? Okay, there's a park called Three Falls, and there's road up on top, and people have launched cars off down in this canyon. So straight off of a kind of a plateau there? Yeah, there's no access from the bottom at all, so okay. everything has to be up from on top and, you know, two, three hundred foot cliffs. Is there a uh, area to get the trucks to kind of the edge of the cliff there? Yeah, that's where the cars, like, that's where they would have been launching the cars off from. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's definitely, we've got the truck for it. We got the, the big wrecker, about like 19 winches on it. Yeah. That's a flex right there. He just flexed on me. Yeah, it might have 37 winches. I don't know. We just keep putting more and more on it. <laughs> well, awesome. Okay, we'll figure out when you can do it. I'm pretty okay. much available anytime. Um, just let me know. Perfect, man. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Okay, stay in All touch. Right, perfect. All right, we're back from the store. We're back out here. I just got these painted up because they were ready to paint. Come in here, I'll show you what's next. So while I was waiting for the rest of the crew to get back from lunch, I went ahead and painted all of the hubs. So I believe the next step 
is going to be... Put some wheels together. We have got to put all of these in. These are the bolts that bolt the two halves of the wheel together. So you just push them through here. They are not an interference fit. They don't get pressed in. They're actually held in place with cotter pins. You take this little cotter pin. Welcome back, welcome back. Slide it right there. There you go. One down, 99 to go. So this next part is super tedious, so we're gonna spare you the minutia, and we're gonna get this done. Skeeter and I are going to mount this tire. So there's something about Ed you might not know. Ed can find things. We were missing this lug nut. There was several places. We tumbled it, we washed it, we blew them off, we painted them. Several people were involved. It could have been anywhere. I said, Ed, we're missing one of these. Ed just walked out and found it. When you have a gold prospector around, they can find things. Thanks, Ed. This is a lot of work. I feel like somebody on a rowing team would be good at this. I think 10 pounds is the right starting point. Seems like it. Go get me 10 of those lug nuts out there. Be careful with them, they're still kind of soft. All right, we are on. All right, Skeeter, come look at this. Stand back and behold. What do you think? Mean. I'm a big fan. Look how far off the ground your axles are. They're like this I know. far. People keep saying that I need portals too. They're like, oh, you should have done portals. Why? You can already drive over a 55 gallon drum laying on its side. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's build another one. Yeah. Seated in the groove. At some point, it just slid in. Okay. That's crazy. Okay, now what? Uh, flip it over. Correct. The mundo. Oh man, that changes. That changes everything. So now that you've watched us wrestle those in real time, we're gonna give you a little bit of break and let you listen to some music while we work super fast. Get it prepared to roll outside. All 
right, we got a lot done today. We didn't get to the roll bar, but we did get all the wheels and tires mounted up and on the wrecker. I think it looks amazing. I'm super excited with the direction this is going. Well, I'm the chief inspector and they done a good job, so I signed it off. But maybe I should wait till tomorrow. Maybe one will go flat. I hope not. <laughs> Thanks for watching.